Here is the website that I made for my final project. To access my website, you can go to sites.google.com slash view slash Wayne Trace AT. So on this website, there are six different sections that you can choose from. The first one is the home page. It just gives some pictures and examples of assistive technology that you can be you can see in your classroom. On the second page, what is assistive technology? This gives you a definition from the Assistive Technology Industrial Industry Association. It talks about what assistive technology can be in your classroom and it can be so much more than just electronic devices, those type of things. It could be wheelchairs, walkers, braces, everything that goes into assistive technology. The third screen is a assistive technology for visual impairments. There is a video at the top that talks about teaching students with these visual impairments. What is the definition of a visual impairment? And then some examples of what you can use in your classroom to help these students, including a screen reader, screen magnification, braille display, braille writing equipment, video magnifiers, portable note takers, braille embossers, and those are all come from the Texas School for the Blind and Visually Impaired. I also found some apps that are useful for visual impaired students including the Look Tell Money Reader, the Say Text app, a Color ID app, Talking Tag, Visual Bra Visible Braille, Navigon, Big Clock, and a Talking Calculator. And then there are two, three resources, websites that you can look into. Um, Be My Eyes is a really cool one that helps for um, bringing sight to people with the low vision. And then there is also Zoom text, which just makes your text bigger. The next page is AT for autism. There's another YouTube video that talks about what technology people with autism can use. The definition of autism from the Autism Speaks website. And then there are some Little things that you can do in your classroom to help you. So a word processor, a talking word processor, a text-to-speech software program, headphones to cancel out the noise, and then maybe speakers with transmitters and listeners. Here are some top apps for autism, and the first one's called ProLoco Pro to Go. There's Find My Family, Friends, and Phone, Choice Works, and then I Can Have Conversations with You. There is also an online resource that I found pretty cool website that you can go in. It gives you more examples of what you can use for those students in your classroom with autism. The next section is low tech devices. These are just some little simple things that you can use inside of your classroom. So for motor mechanics and writing, you can use your binder that is raised, rubber stamps, pencil grips, raised lined paper. For reading and writing support, you can use the finger group ruler to make the lines while you'll, you read, Velcro enhanced books, magnetic picture frames, and an inquiry box. For visual reading support, you could use the highlighter tape, sentence strips, words in a bottle, and word rings. For math, you can use the master ruler, the master fraction, the master angle, the master clock. Going back up to the next section, this is what teachers need to know about assistive technology. There is a YouTube video about the view of assistive technology from a teacher's point of view. And then there is 10 things that every teacher should know about the assistive technology from the Georgia Department of Education. The last and final section of my website is the application website, or the applications and assistive technology for your classroom. It's divided up into different um, different subject areas. So the first one's reading. There are a couple of examples of websites that you can use. So we have the Natural Reader, the Tar Heel Reader, the Rewordify, and the Mother Goose Club. For writing, there's Digo and Live Binders, Symbolo, and then Tag Exodo. 
for math, we have math talk, we have a ge geometry pad, we have this website, math mechanics, and then we have pattern shapes. And the last and final subject is science. We have bug scope, we have this website that helps you um, dissect frogs, gives you digital field trips, those types of things. And then we have Jason Learning and the NASA Kids Club.